Okay, so let's do one of these problems. Uh, this is converting uh, KEQ to delta G. Um, so this one says, for the following reaction, alpha ketoglutarate plus NADP pl or NAD plus plus CoASH um, goes to succinyl CoA plus carbon dioxide plus NADH plus a proton. Um, if the KEQ for this reaction is 4.692 times 10 to the third, calculate uh, the delta G for this reaction and um, decide whether this reaction will be favorable or unfavorable at these conditions um, and which side of the uh, equilibrium will the reaction lie on, okay? So the first thing we want to do in this reaction is, or this problem is what? Right, yeah, remember the equation, okay? So do you all remember it? Yeah. What is it? Delta G equals negative RT ln KEQ, okay? So remember in this one, oh, I didn't read it, but it said it wanted it in uh, kilocalories, okay? Which is why I gave us the R for calories, okay? Remember these uh, R's will always be given to you, okay? Any constants will be given to you. It's not something you need to remember. The thing you want to remember, though, is um, if it asks for joules or kilojoules, you're going to use the 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin um, R. Okay. So, and the other thing this um, constant tells us is what that the temperature has to be in what Kelvin. Kelvin. So it's in Celsius. So we have to add 273 to it. So what do we get? 298 Kelvin, okay? So now we got that, we got that, we got that. So now it's just a plug and chug problem, okay? So negative R, so I'm gonna write this all out so we can see the cancellation. Um, Okay, so the right. Okay. 
So delta G negative favor. Okay. Exergonic. Any questions on this one?